r slash ask reddit what isn't illegal but unanimously considered a dong move cutting in line i used to work in retail whenever it was busy enough to have a line we followed the rules of the line strictly if someone tried cutting in line we politely explained to them the concept of a line and that they need to get into the back of it line jumpers really piss me off i was at the great american beer festival and my buddies and i were in line for a rare beer Pliny the younger from rr which was ridiculously long 20 30 minutes compared to a few minutes for a normal beer event we finally make it to the front and as the people in front of us get their paws a couple guys just step in front of us like it was nothing i immediately confront them and try to be polite and say hey you can't do that it's not cool when you have all these people waiting in a line that goes around the corner they just turn their backs and ignore me the lady pouring the beer a random volunteer sees what's happening so i say you aren't going to serve them are you she shrugs at me and pours their beers so as they turn around i stuck my fingers in their beers it's a beer festival i was a little drunk and said something along the lines of i hope you like how my fingers taste they got all huffy and feasty for all of five seconds before walking away too long didn't read cut me and a large amount of people in line to try a rare beer i stuck my fingers in their beers Weaponizing custody of the children in a divorce. Also emptying joint bank accounts. Doesn't that make you look really bad in court go? Using a public restroom and pissing all over toilet. Or leaving a massive shit and not flushing. Sometimes. Things splash a bit. Sometimes. Fluid pressure gets a bit out of hand. Ain't none of us too good to grab a square or two of toilet paper and wipe up after we're done. This is a public restroom philosophy I live by. I'm aware my stream does not always fly true. And when this happens I feel sort of duty bound as a civilized human to grab some squares and wipe away the rogue drips. But sometimes another problem arises when the toilet was recently visited by some subhuman who knows nothing of duty except that the sound of it makes him laugh. In these situations, I politely wipe away my very own personal rogues. Because I'm not a dong. But I'm also not a janitor so I avoid anything else. It makes it a pretty meaningless gesture. But at least I don't feel like a dong. If you can't change the world, this is really the best you can hope for. But then whoever goes in after me will just immediately be reminded. Goddamn it. We're all dongs and nothing will ever change. Taking a parking spot that someone else had been waiting for. My mom was 9 months pregnant with me when it happened to her. She saw who it was. Tracked him down in Costco and verbally lambasted him in front of a crowd of onlookers. People were like what the duck is going on here? And my mom is just laying into him meanwhile my dad has ducked off somewhere trying to get the shopping done. But yeah, total dong move. Best part. Dad wanted no part. He knew what that lady was like when she was pissed. Filing for custody of your dog during a divorce then putting it down for no medical reason. WTF that's more than just a dong move. It's pure psychotic. I don't get why it's cool to euthanize pets but not people. Both the legal status of assisted suicide. Especially in situations where euthanizing a pet would be considered humane but an actual person isn't allowed to choose to end their own life. And the opposite. Where doing such to a human being would be prosecuted a particularly vile murder. Sitting right next to the people already there in an almost empty movie theater. I had this happen not too long ago. My mom and I were the only people at an afternoon movie. This woman came in with two toddlers and plopped them down next to us. Then they proceeded to talk through the entire movie. Someone did this to me and my partner. We literally got up and moved to the other side of the cinema. When anybody named Richard decides to buy a new house. I don't get it. Dong moves. Following someone in a car. My friend and I got followed around the town in our car for 30 minutes. We were young. 2022. And it was like 10pm. We were driving around and noticed an old pickup truck behind us. We would turn and take all sorts of ways. He was pulling out in front of other cars to stay behind us. I called 911. And the cops said that they would have a cop waiting for us in a well lit. Restaurant parking lot so that we could pull in and have someone there. But they couldn't do anything about the guy. It's not illegal to follow someone. They said. There's no law broken until someone gets touched or a vehicle gets damaged. Edit. The guy did get arrested. But it wasn't because of the following. P police. When we pulled into the lot. 
The police car was there waiting for us, and the truck pulled in behind our car. The cops went up to the driver's window, and the guy had his pants pulled down, masturbating. He tried to grab a weapon from his glove compartment, and was arrested for trying to pull a weapon and not cooperating. This was about 10 years ago, so the laws could have easily changed regarding following stalking etc. I do live in Alabama, though, so, who knows. It's so scary. My friend was dropping me off at home and this car started following us as soon as we entered the neighborhood. Stopping behind us when we got to my house. We freaked out and started driving again. They followed us for like 10 minutes and I was so scared they'd know where I live so we stopped at several other places throughout the ride. They stopped every time. Didn't leave us alone till we decided to go back out onto surface streets. I lived in the fear that they would rob or murder me for like 2 weeks. I should add that this was at 3am and the car was parked and waiting at the entrance to the neighborhood. Started following as soon as we turned onto the street, so we were sketched out immediately. Gary they won't stop driving. Should we just throw in the towel and go home? Nah dude. We'll try some more. We have to give him back the pen drive he left at the cafe. It might be important. Trading away all my sheep then calling Monopoly on sheep. Go to love Catton. There was one time I asked if someone had sheep to trade. They said what for? Then played the Monopoly card. They were unhappy. My friends are scary with Caton. They always know what everyone has by paying attention to rolls and pickups. They can always be like well Josh has two wheat and two ore already so I'm not trading him another ore. Plus he might be have a road building development card for longest road which would help him win and I sit there like which tile is brick again. Proposing at a wedding without the bride and groom's permission. Even then it's still iffy. Honestly. I don't like public proposals period. And they're awkward as duck if both people aren't on the same page and someone gets denied in front of everyone. I'm of the opinion you shouldn't really propose unless you guys have had a full, clear conversation about marriage in private already. Have you seen the Dear Prudence letter? It's the second question. About the guy who not only proposed, but married his girlfriend during someone else's ceremony? Oh. And they announced her pregnancy too. Completely a dong move bringing babies to the movies or bringing a six year old to see deadpool i mean what the duck did you think would happen with an r-rated movie edit yes i meant deadpool not dadpool also in the united states people under 17 can get into r-rated movies if accompanied by a parent nc-17 movies are the ones who don't allow anyone under 17 in they don't think see also sausage party Sticking your gum under the table at restaurants or bars. So nasty to catch a knee on that. In the same vein, spitting your gum out on the sidewalk pavement so someone else steps in it. That would be littering, and technically illegal. The behavior of the Westboro Baptist Church is perhaps the quintessential example of unanimously deplored but not quite illegal dongery. From Matthew 22 37 40 Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. 38 This is the first and great commandment. 39 And the second is like it, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. 40 On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. It appears that WBC is all kinds of illegal according to God's law. Wanted to comment this as well. Not a Christian but very familiar with Southern Baptism in particular. Who have actually explicitly denounced the WBC. There are so many things wrong with the WBC's behavior from just a biblical standpoint. I honestly think their protests could be argued to be non-violent acts of terror and potentially unprotected by the First Amendment. Being an a-hole is legal. But probably causing actual psychological damage is as close to violence as just words can get. There is significant precedent that directing such speech as they often use towards a child could be considered abuse because it is harmful, and many other cults have been prosecuted for very similar overall behavior. Persuading your grandfather to remove your brother from his will so that all will be left to you. I'd love to hear the story of this. I have a story like this. My paternal grandmother just died this past Tuesday. I'm terrified of the reading of the will. The reason being that when my parents got to divorce my aunt and uncles convinced my paternal grandfather that he had to remove my dad from the will because my mom might try and take everything. 
that essentially removed us children from the world too and we are the only grandkids bearing the family name. Now after the divorce my mom still drove us three children out six hours every summer to spend time with our paternal family. Dad kind of ducked off but my parents were amicable for the most part. My mom is not and would never be the kind of person to do that and we never had horrendous custody battles. Mom literally just wanted us to know the family that was too in their own world to visit us. It was a number of years before grandpa actually passed away. In those years my mother had visited with us faithfully once a year to be berated by my one uncle for not doing a good enough job raising the kids my dad was not putting the effort into. I'm not mad at him anymore. This was years ago. But he kind of really is making up for lost time now since he wasn't there a lot. Even before the divorce. My dad did not know he had been removed until grandpa died. It was awful. He never visited them again until my grandmother got Alzheimer's. My aunt eventually apologized and supposedly things have been made up for in my grandmother's will but I'm just terrified that they will burn every bridge they had with my dad if they just never got around to fixing her will either. The funeral is in a week and I feel so very terrified that they've snubbed my dad yet again. Buying the rights to life saving pharmaceuticals. Then jacking the prices up. Oh 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 we're getting in the middle of it. Seriously, my EpiPen, even with coupons, is still 600 bucks. Being that one person in a group project that contributes nothing and still tries to act like they did for the grade. Had something like this happen in college. One of my classes was basically two big group projects. Beginning of semester, we get split up into teams. I'm with a guy I know. We start working. Most are groups of three, but we are a group of two. No biggie. Odd number class. We start working. First project done. Everyone presents. Same groups for second project. Both projects took a lot of time. Like needing to come in for an extra 4 hours in the weekend as 2 2 hour classes a week are not enough. And we couldn't take supplies out of the room. Teammate and I are there every class. Every opportunity. Same as most other groups. Present final project. Guy comes out of nowhere. We ask him who he is and why he's sitting with us. Apparently, he was our third teammate. Skipped class the entire semester. Only there for the final presentation. Still don't know who he is. But I hope the professor failed him. As by that point, all the students were on a first name basis with him with all the help we needed. The professor definitely knew who we were. I'm surprised he wasn't dropped from the class. Leaving your shopping cart in a parking space because you're too lazy to lug your fat ass to the nearest cart station. The supreme dong move is to leave the cart in the middle of the space right next to the cart return. Buying a patent not to use it, but in order to keep others from using it. Open bracket. Not sure if illegal, but definitely a dong move. Not illegal. They're called patent trolls and they deserve to die the worst death ever. I believe in the divine comedy by Dante Alighieri the seventh level of hell is reserved for traitors and patent trolls. Throwing a blue shell when I just got in first place. My brother and I were playing against each other. Third lap. I was slightly ahead. He gets a blue shell. Since I can't tell my peripheral vision to stop working. I notice it and slam on the brakes. He zooms ahead of me. Shell turned around and hit him. I then zoomed by for the win. He was raging about how it shouldn't have happened. I was too busy laughing and calling him a loser. Edit. This was a 1v1 race. And I had already hit the brakes before bro fired the shell. So he was in the lead by the time the shell went off. I think this also might be a dong move. But I'll be damned if you don't get my upvote for it. Neglecting your pets. I know in some cases there are animal abuse laws. But the amount of bullshit some people get away with doing to their cute fluffers that just want to give love is terrible. Yes, I know someone who had a golden retriever with a tumor in its mouth. It got so bad the dog couldn't eat on its own or even drink water. Maggots were starting to collect around the tumor because the flesh was starting to rot. The poor pup was constantly bleeding as well. The owners knew for months the dog was suffering but wouldn't put her down because they couldn't emotionally handle it. Beach. Your dog can't physically handle it. Parking on the street in front of a house exactly in the middle so that nobody can park in front or behind you. My neighbors do this every day and leave the street in front of their house open. Shit pisses me off so much. 
when you call shotgun but someone else says challenge or some other BS. Beach. I called it first. Lie with it. I go with Rosa Parks. This works, but only if you're already sitting in the seat. How about treating anyone who serves you? Waiters, waitresses, store employees etc. Poorly because you believe you're better than them. In the immortal words of that one sign at Jimmy John's, a person who is nice to you but rude to the waiter is not a nice person. I abhor anybody who does not practice basic manners with strangers. No passes for severe social anxiety, because I still say please and thank you and smile even if I don't make eye contact. It's just part of being a member of a civilized society FFS. For men, I'd say approaching a urinal immediately next to one that's currently occupied. When there are several other free urinals readily available why would you do this? Let me urinate in peace you and consider it dark. Bro chill I just want to see your dong. But then I get stage fright and can't piss colon. Hitting on someone you know is in a relationship. Hitting on a single person when you're in a relationship. Honestly just creating unfaithfulness in a monogamous relationship. Don't cheat on your partner and don't encourage somebody else to cheat. It's a dong move. Treating minimum wage workers with minimum respect. For no reason other than they're working minimum wage. Hell. Not just minimum wage positions, but any jobs where you have to interact with the public as part of work. My wife has a biology degree and works at a museum taking care of animals. Which, yes, involves lots of cleaning their enclosures. People see her cleaning stuff and just sort of assume she is uneducated and treat her like shit. She said one time she was cleaning something and this kid asked their mom what she was doing. The mom said something to the effect of... She's doing what you'll have to do if you don't go to college. How she didn't snap that woman's neck is a something I will never know. Not taking your rubbish with you after a movie or similar event. Music festivals are particularly bad. The kids working at the cinema are on minimum wage or less. Don't make their life shittier because you are too lazy to take your shit to the bin that you pass on the way out. Seriously, the bin is right by the door. It's not like you have to go out of your way to toss your overpriced half-eaten popcorn tub. Going to a restaurant 10 minutes before they close. I guarantee every employee is saying a silent duck you. Oh it isn't silent. That kitchen staff is pissed especially if it was a busy night. Using the turn lane off ramp to bypass a line of traffic before cutting back in. That's not illegal. It's even worse. I got t-boned by someone doing this and the cop put me at 100% fault. According to their little who's more at fault chart. Failure to yield to traffic is more severe than using a lane illegally edit. Adding context http colon slash slash imgur comma i-989 this is an image I drew up of the crash. After the accident and the cop report I ended up flipping the case entirely in my favor. 0% at fault before the court got to see the case because of two factors. The other person was passing in a turn only lane and there would have been no way for me to yield to them due to the obstruction of the truck. Saw Wonder Woman a week ago and not one, not two, but three goddamn people brought babies in. Two of them went off when the volume got loud. Please people, leave them at home. Some theaters used to have baby rooms. It's a soundproof room at the back of the theater where you can still watch the movie and hear through speakers. But your screaming potato won't bother anyone. Cheating on your partner. On a boyfriend girlfriend that's correct. But there are still many states in the US where it's against the law to cheat on a spouse. And can be punishable with fines or even jail time. Fairly sure these laws are archaic and unconstitutional. I doubt they're enforced. Pretending to marry a guy in order to set all of the guy's friends up in a giant police raid. In bird culture, this is considered a dong move. Duck Tammy. Returning a VHS tape to Blockbuster without rewinding it. Very unkind move. Tailgating. It may actually be illegal in some places. IDK. But nobody really does anything about it. Either way, it's ducking obnoxious. Whenever it happens I just pull over and let the duck stick drive ahead of me. I once got rear-ended by a guy who was tailgating me. The car in front of me stopped suddenly to make a turn. 
so of course I had to stop suddenly also. He didn't get a ticket or anything but his insurance put him at fault for failure to maintain a safe distance. Work and auto insurance. Not in the US though. Like 80-90% of our damages are rear end collisions and reversing out of parking spaces. It is ducking bizarre how people behave in cars. Telling your so that you want to move out but stay a couple but secretly you duck his brother, your co-worker, Jim from Coliseum of Comics, your drug dealer, and your friend who went into the Marine Corps when he came back on holiday all in the span of a month while still kissing my lips and telling me you love me and picking out names for the kids we will never have a Lenny I know you browse reddit and if I ever find you I'm going to break your arms. People sitting in front of me pulling their airplane seats as far back as they possibly can while I'm eating with my tray down. That shit's not fun. The problem, as I see it, is that it is ambiguous who actually owns the space that is taken up by a reclining chair. The chair reclines. Somebody paid for the chair. It may be a dong move, but it is airline that is the dong for trying to sell two people the same space. On airlines like Air New Zealand. They don't let you do this. I've had flight attendants wake me up to tell me I have to put my seat up because it's meal time. <laughs> Pretending to give a homeless person food and then eating it in front of them. Edit. I am proud for this to be my top comment. It shows that there are good people with morals in the world. Is that a thing that people actually do? If so, duck them. Those parking spots with signs on them for x parking only? Only the handicapped ones are legally enforceable. The ones for expectant mothers and the like, you can park there and you're in the clear from a legal standpoint. Kind of a real dong move. Which is why I don't do it myself. But it's possible. Linking r slash thath opened on literally every ducking thread where someone said they did something. Even if I was totally believable. You can say you went to Subway for lunch and people will immediately call bullshit just because they can. <laughs> Payday loans with 1000% plus interest never been desperate enough, thankfully, but it is so shitty to lure people into a vicious cycle of debt. Not ray racking your weights gym equipment, nothing annoys me more than having to go hunting for that extra clip or matching dumbbell, or when you see someone finish their set and just leave the area without returning the item, scum. Bidding $1 over the last person on the price is right. Leaving public BBQS dirty after you cook on them. If you do this in Australia, you're a dunt mate. Reposting an ascredit thread word for word. Finishing the coffee without making a new pot. Talking to someone in the men's room. Depends on the place. A few weekends back I had a guy randomly say man I'm jealous. I've been standing here for hours trying to piss and you're in and out in a minute. It was hilarious. I think he was on MDMA. Chewing with your mouth open. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.